Hey everybody, sorry I haven't posted in a while. This is what I've been working on. What you see before you is a Tomb King style table. It can also be considered historical or Egyptian. If there's any Anubis players out there, or, I'm sorry, Egyptus players out there, this falls right into your category as well. This table represents what I'm going to be selling on eBay in various groups. I built this table using five of each type of various types of scenery and I guess we'll just get started. The first is going to be what I call necropolis sets. They're small, medium, and larges. These would be examples of mediums. Coming up, this would be a small stand. And then we move on to larger stands. We also are going to be featuring Oasis pieces. There's three separate sizes. Largest has water and palm tree with large rocks. Then we move into medium size that features plants, which shows that there's water underneath the ground. Of course this can always work as hard cover or terrain that will slow you down, soft sand, what have you. Then we have rocky material. Rocky material, this would represent a large stand has fallen boulders, has some scrub brush, can use as a defensive position. Then you have medium sized as well as small sized. They all have room for troops to move through them. And we have three different types of hills. This type of hill would be a cliff or rocky style hill. Features uh, rough cliff faces and fallen broken boulders. This one has an obelisk on top. Plenty of room for troops up there. Then we move on to a mixed hill. It's got a cliff face to one side. Some fallen boulders in the front but you'll notice it has a smooth sandy back and then of course your normal sandy dune style hill a couple of larger pieces be like this tiger well You'll notice the water has been glossed and has a reflective finish to it. And that troop there gives you a size of scale. Um, here's the Sphinx again. Again, one of my favorite pieces. I absolutely love this piece. And here is the large keep. Has a lot of internal calligraphy on it, or what do they call that? Hieroglyphs, that's it. There you go. And this is again done in the same style, except it's just a little bit smaller. 
So there you basically have it. This is the kind of train that I'm going to be putting up on eBay. And this is the kind of train you can share with your friends. I enjoyed making it. And I hope you guys enjoy playing on it someday. Take care.